So I just want to introduce the Dean of the College of Music and Fine Arts for to tell, say hello to you guys. So please welcome Donald Boom Garden, Dean Boom Garden. Thank you. I'd like to, first of all, welcome all of you back from the summer, those of you who have been with us before, those of you who are new. How many of you are new this year? Do we have freshmen? Terrific. All right. Um, my name is Don Boomgard, and I'm the Dean of the College of Music and Fine Arts. That includes music industry, but it also includes the School of Music, the Department of Theater and Dance, and also the Department of Art and Design. And this college is the only performance arts college in all of the system of the Jesuit University. So it's a special place. And because of that, we have lots and lots of special things which happen here. Uh, one of the things which happens is we have an incredibly vital and exciting music industry program. And a lot of that is owed to your chair, Professor Snyder. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Snyder is rejoining you after taking a little time off and a little R&R. &R. And uh, I also want to thank Professor Hinderley, who stood in for him uh, while he yeah. was out. So I think that uh, you had an opportunity to work with Professor Hinderley, and you'll continue to, of course, and having Professor Snyder back is really great. One of the things that I wanted to say to you, along with saying welcome to you, is I'm sure that you've seen some of the news about the university. It's been a bit of a tough summer and fall for us. We're a little bit short in terms of our first year enrollment. But some of this is really due to factors which have nothing to do with the institution. Some of it's market factors, and some of it is just the university's need to uh, put itself out there a little bit more in terms of recruitment. I'm very optimistic about next year. We have an excellent incoming class. Our college, for example, did quite well. In fact, we have some programs where we have more students than we had last year. So I'm very, very optimistic about the future for us and for these programs. While you're here, those of you who are new, I would say, Enjoy the opportunities that are, the, that are there for you. We have not only a great music industry program, but within the college itself, we have a tremendous symphony, a great opera, a great wind ensemble, choirs. We have a wonderful theater program with a whole slate of great performances this year. We have a ballet program and art and design. We have graphic design as well as studio art. And so there's a huge variety of things to participate in and look at. The other thing which makes us special along with those programs is this is a Jesuit Catholic University. That means that there's something beyond just education here. It's not just about getting a degree and getting your credentials, but it's also about learning more about yourself and learning more about your relationship with the universe. Whether you're Catholic or not, there is that spiritual dimension in the world that we want you to experience. And tapping into that dimension is a part of being an artist. Whatever type of art that you perform in, there is a spiritual dimension, a connection with God. And so as dean of this college, I'm really proud that it's a performing arts college that is related to that mission. And it's a great mission. So while you're here, do participate in that other aspect of the university as well, the spiritual aspect. You can do that by going to mass, you can do that by participating with mission and ministry, or in many of the other ways to do that. There are lots of different clubs, whatever your religious or whatever your faith uh, views are. So please take advantage to that, of that. And let me just also welcome all of you one more time and thank you for coming to Loyola. Thank you for returning to Loyola, those of you that have been with us before. And I look forward to seeing you at so many events throughout the year. The summer is very boring around here. I was actually kind of lonely and depressed, but those days are over. So welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's, uh, I want to introduce the faculty right quick. Uh, a lot of you know these gentlemen and these ladies, and uh, is that me? And, uh, but let's just, uh, let me introduce them. So Sandy Henderley is, uh, is somebody you know. Come up and talk about what you've been doing and what you got to say and how you feeling. You're about. Hi there. It's good to be back just teaching and not doing what he's doing. Oh, yeah, well. I have a brand new respect for what he has to do yeah. on a day-to-day -day <laughs> basis, and you guys should respect that as well. But he's always there for you, so knock on his door. <laughs> <laughs> a 
24 And I'm not going to tell you where my office is because it's <laughs> hiding. <laughs> no, I, uh, I teach the musicianship class, and this summer I taught actually three online classes, including musicianship for the first time. And I taught it in uh, Europe. I went to Vienna and saw Wagner's Ring there, uh, and then uh, rode a bike down the Danube before it uh, flooded and then came back once and then went back over and I'm back here and I was just traveling it quite a bit. But anyway, uh, this is a great program. I, I've met most of you freshmen that just came in because we did interviews. Uh, welcome. And this is the man, okay? Oh, there we go. No, thank you for Sandy, thanks for Sandy. So uh, the next person, the next person in terms of seniority is John Rankin. Please welcome John, John Rankin. He's been here for like 30 years. 30, 25 years? Year 28? No, Glad you're to know I'm in the senior realm here, which I am. Hi guys, I'm John Rankin. I teach guitar, uh, contemporary ensemble, and I have one of the songwriting classes. Um, and uh, I play music around town. I play at the columns every Tuesday night. I've been doing that for 15 years. That's my little my hang with different people. Uh, I have a Loyola graduate playing with me uh, this week, uh, Clarence Johnson, a great modern jazz saxophonist. And uh, coming up uh, next month, let's see, I have a duo with uh, Paul Sanchez, a great songwriter. Another one with um, Alex McMurray, who is a songwriter. I taught at Tulane 20 years ago. And uh, four guitar band, New Orleans Guitar Quartet, really excellent kind of things. Come, hey, come listen if you can. If you've got any questions about guitar or how that fits into your uh, schedule here or um, anything else I can do for you, please feel free to drop by. I'm at 234. Thanks. By the way, I forgot to mention one thing. John and I did a gig in Germany this uh, summer. We, did, we gave won. a concert. He <laughs> then we played a wedding the next day. Right. <laughs> so go figure. Yeah. Anyway, that's John Rankin. I think we'll, go, we'll skip. Uh, who's next? Uh, Jim. Jim Gabor, come on up here and talk about the video stuff. Jim's been here for a while, and I think there should be no Jim. Yeah, I do uh, the digital filmmaking courses. Uh, we've got four of them. They're a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we're actually going to kind of update it in the spring and start doing the first three weeks uh, uh, with phone film. Do them off our phones and, and uh, create films that way. We've got a, a lot of real interaction with the real film world, and I don't know if you all know it, but um, Harry Shearer, uh, who was here, uh, did a workshop with us, or forum with us, uh, last year has agreed to come on as a full-time artist in residence here at Loyola. He's the guy, yeah. Thanks uh, to Jim. He is, uh, he's, he's now up to 42 voices on The Simpsons. Uh, and of course he did Spinal Tap. And uh, three years ago, three summers ago, we took a bunch of our kids and went on the road and did the 25th anniversary DVD concert with Spinal Tap with a bunch of Loyola students. Uh, cool things happening this semester, especially with Harry. On the, uh, we're doing a film comedy week, uh, the week right before Thanksgiving. And on the 18th, uh, uh, Harry's going to come in and do, uh, we're going to show excerpts from his favorite funny films, and we're going to do a show called What's So Funny About That? And then we're going to show a lot of the films he was in and that he liked all week. And then the very next Monday after that, right before you go on Thanksgiving, John Goodman. Uh, so uh, we're going to also do his film. So if you're a big Lebowski fan or what, uh, he is also, John is in New York right now. Uh, his uh, pilot for Amazon was the uh, highest ranked by the people who voted on the pilots. And he's now making a series for, uh, that's going to uh, come up uh, called uh, The Alpha House that is written by uh, Gary Trudeau, who does the Doonesbury comic strip. So he'll be just coming off that, and he has a new, uh, a right, uh, the week before we do the show with him, he has a new Russell Crowe movie. So it's gonna be uh, really fun having two serious uh, movie stars uh, here, and they're gonna be open to you guys to have workshops in the afternoon and also do a forum with you. So it's gonna be a hoot. So uh, if you, I'm at 428R in the, the music building, any time there, noontime almost uh, every day, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if you wanna talk about the classes or you're interested in getting in the intro to digital filmmaking and starting it up, I'm there. See ya. Thank you very much, Jim. So Jim arranged, 
Jim is the one that got us Harry, and Jim set up the John Goodman thing too. So Jim's done a great job for the for the program. And also, we started a film studies minor, and we're working on a major. So sooner or, sooner or later we'll get that. But right now we have a film studies minor. That's correct, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, who's next? Jeff, why don't you come up and talk to these people, please? Jeff Albert, everybody. <laughs> Jim wanted me to clarify, it's a filmmaking minor. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, it's not film studies, it's filmmaking. Yeah. I, I, I had to not make a list. It, um, so this past summer, um, I went to Italy, and that was great. Played some good music. I'm, I'm not rubbing oh, it in or anything, but the food was really good. Um, and uh, Jay and I went to an uh, Audio Engineering Society education conference, so hopefully you'll be seeing the fruits of all our newly gained pedagogical knowledge um, in terms of audio. Um, I have some fun stuff coming up here. I'm playing the Chicago Jazz Festival this weekend. Really? That'll be fun. Congratulations. With, uh, with the world's only free jazz reggae band. So, so that'll be cool. And then I'm uh, traveling a bit this fall uh, talking about weird improvising computer programs that I make. So I get to go to France and do that. That'll be fun, too. Um, in terms of teaching, uh, I teach the Intro to Music Tech classes, um, which are full. And uh, I also teach one section of digital audio production. Jay does the other, um, which is also full. Um, I, and I teach a computer music programming class that has a couple of spots left. So if you need tech electives, especially those of you that are near finished and are scrapping for tech electives, um, that's one. I think there's also a couple spots in the studio techniques class that Jay's teaching. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, one more. I'm, uh, also, I'm in, involved with a nonprofit that puts on free jazz concerts. And we've got a couple coming up this fall. So if you'd like to make a very small amount of money putting up posters and things for that, come see me. Because we have a little bit of budget. And so, you know, you get in the concert and get $3, and it'll be great. Actually, it's more than 3 but not much more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff Albert. So, Billy O'Connell, come on up here, Billy. Howdy. Uh, this semester, what am I talking about? You're what you're teaching. Oh, all right. And so also, this semester, tell, me, tell me about what you did this summer. This summer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> so, th yeah, so uh, this summer, uh, we finished uh, uh, a record for the band that I managed, Throwing Muses. We're getting a record ready to be released. We did, uh, we're releasing this record. Uh, with Harper Collins, we're releasing it as a book. It's a book, so it's an art book, a hardcover art book, and inside it is a CD, but it's being published as a book and released as a book. Um, so in addition to sort of having it available as downloads at iTunes and stuff like that, the only way you can own a tangible copy would be to buy it as a book or I guess as a piece of vinyl, but whatever. So it's an interesting project to be working on, and we've been doing setup for that all summer, and it comes out on October 28th. Um, and then um, spent some time negotiating the film rights for uh, a memoir that was written by the, the, the leader of Throwing Muses, who was my wife, Kristen Hirsch. And uh, that book was called Rat Girl. And um, we're negotiating actually a television series based on oh, really? Rat Girl. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. good news. We're happy for that. And uh, that's out of the UK with the BBC. So i um, very happy to be doing that. Um, here, now, oh, one second. I, Billy was signed to a uh, major voiceover company this summer in New York, Paradigm Productions. An agency. <laughs> he is now, he is an official voiceover artist. He will do your commercials, everything is free. Yeah, it means almost nothing. <laughs> no, that's not true. Anyway, um, uh, that's just some dumb thing that I do. That's all. <laughs> That, that is your creative just, life. That's yeah, very important. It's, a, it's the goofiest thing ever. <laughs> anyway, uh, here I'm teaching intro. Uh, and we're, we didn't really decide how we're doing it, right? I'm kind of teaching both sections of intro. Yeah, just teach all of them. Teach all of them. So we're kind of teaching both sections of intro. And then uh, uh, I'm teaching management and marketing as well on Monday night and Wednesday night. Um, so if you need uh, 
Well, I don't think there's any seats left in management or marketing, right? I don't know why not. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it, you need to take what I give you, so I know I'll be seeing you one way or the other. Um, and then I'm going to host forum. That's correct. Right? Well, it, yes. Please, yeah. thank so you. I'm going to host forum. <laughs> So hope everything, hope you guys all have a great semester. I'll get caught up with all of you. Uh, I just got back last night, so I, I, missed, uh, I missed the sort of the run up to the semester. So if you see me, snag me and we can get caught up. I want to know what, you're all, what you've all been up to. And I'll see you soon, thank you. Billy O'Connell, all right. <laughs> Elliot, you want to come up and talk for a minute? Elliot Adams, everybody, give him a hand. Welcome back. So I spent most of my summer uh, traveling uh, on the West Coast. And uh, so I'm working on some projects this fall here in New Orleans. Uh, one of them is the second startup weekend. And it's pretty exciting because Google, I went to Google's campus this summer, and they're going to be a sponsor of that. Um, and there's going to be a senior director of Android that's coming down to speak. So he's like one of the uh, guys who, who builds Android. And Android now is the biggest operating system in the world. They have like something crazy like 900 million installs. So um, it's kind of a coup to, to get this guy to come down. So I was in the West Coast working on stuff like that and uh, riding a bike and going to the river and stuff. You're taking a few trips this summer, I mean this fall. Yeah, I headed to Sweden on Friday to speak at a conference and um, headed to Malaysia in October for the Global Entrepreneurship Congress, and uh, maybe Africa in November. That's the plan. Thank you very much, Elliot Adam. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to make one more announcement. Um, a couple of quick items on classes. Uh, one is that if you're a senior and you're not in entrepreneurship this semester, you really should be. Um, it's much tougher to do that in senior seminar in the same semester, so I'd highly recommend if you can, get into that class. We have space available. Um, the other is that we're doing networking again this fall, and we're going to the Americana Music Festival and to CMJ again. And the costs are going to be lower than they have been in previous semesters. So if you'd like to join us, um, Americana in September, CMJ in October. And we can talk about costs and everything else if you want to come find me. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks. Elliot Adams. Jay Crudy. Y'all know Jay Crudy. Come on, it's here for Jay Crudy. Uh, let's see, the summer. I spent most of the time tearing apart the studio, um, working on, we got a $75,000 grant for a bunch of new studio equipment that me and Sandy wrote in. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, maybe the only money we see for a while, but... <laughs> We got some pretty good, cool toys, so spent the summer kind of tearing the place apart, getting it ready for that. And um, what do you teach? This year I'll be teaching live sound production, which is pretty cool too. If you're in that class, um, there may be a few seats still available, but we're going to work really closely with the festival production class this year. So the live sound class, which is primarily technical aspects of concert sound, will be working with the festival production class, which is going to do more of the event management and kind of producing the event aspects. So two classes will work together uh, to culminate in an actual festival, probably to happen in late November, early December. Um, so that'll be a really cool new development. I also teach studio techniques, and I teach a section of digital audio production. And I also oversee a bunch of the uh, student companies, the entrepreneurial units, and run the campus radio station. Thank you very much. Hey, let's now have a question. If anybody in this, this crowd wants to work in the studio, what do they do? Oh, yeah. So if you're interested in being a studio TA, you can actually go to my website, jcrudy.com. And I have a page on there that outlines the entire program, every question answered, everything you need to know. If you're interested in being an apprentice for the studio company, then I think, uh, where's Austin? He'll probably speak to that a little later on today. And, um, or if you're just interested in hanging out, come talk to me. I'll, you know, I'll show you how to get to the studio calendar. I mean, look, we're a small school. You can just walk into the studio, sit down, hang out, you know, insert yourself into the situation. That's my advice. Thank you very much, Jay. It's the hardest working man in show business. 
Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our next, next uh, teacher. Uh, he's new this year. We just hired him this summer. And I couldn't tell you, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have him join us. Uh, please welcome Burke Ingrafia. Come on up, Burke. Everybody, uh, I'll be teaching Internet Technologies 1 and 2. And um, there's a lot of space open in Internet Technologies 2, which is tonight and Wednesday nights uh, around 7.45. So uh, if anybody's interested, there'll be a strong emphasis on um, how to use the internet for e-commerce and marketing and that sort of thing, uh, which some of you uh, might want to learn a little bit more about. Internet Technologies 1 is going to be more um, just how to make stuff on the web. Uh, it should be a good course too, and there's a lot of y'all taking that. Um, I'm also planning on starting an EU for a, uh, a website, um, a money-making production website that will... Uh, focus on um, uh, things that you're interested in, uh, music industry, um, New Orleans, and so forth. So if any of y'all are interested in being a part of that, uh, please let me know. Come find me. My office is 342. Um, it's kind of hollowed out right now. What's that? Oh, sorry. 432. And um, uh, please come in and stop by and say hello. Thank you, Burke. Burke Brigafia. So Burke is a... Burke is a very talented singer-songwriter in his own right, so I'm sure you'll catch his performances someday soon. I want to introduce some other people who are teaching in the program. Uh, please, Jim McCormick, why don't you come talk about your class. Jim McCormick, songwriter, Kid Records. Hi, y'all. It's nice to be back. Um, this summer, I um, released a, a modest record of my own, of uh, my singing songs that I'd written over the past decade or so, and I was on the road with a few country artists writing songs writing a lot of songs. That's what I've been doing. Um, Jay, I have JimMcCormickSongs.com. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> okay. Um, I teach uh, the craft and business of songwriting, and all of you are uh, welcome to uh, join up on that class or stop me. Um, I work in the trenches of Nashville and sometimes Los Angeles as a songwriter. And... Um, Whatever I can do for you, I am available. I'll make myself available. If you're not in the class, find a way to get in touch, get in touch with me and uh, make use of me while I'm here, y'all. All right. Thank you very much, Jim. <laughs> so the, the two songwriting classes, uh, 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 one of them, John's, is more about the art of songwriting itself. And, uh, and the, the, uh, Jim's class is going to be about songwriting and also the business of songwriting. So you'll be actually placing songs in that class. Um, who else? Uh, uh, let's see. Who am I missing? David. David's going to teach. David Buttrey is going to teach festival productions with Alex Grant. Alex is not here. Come on up, David. David graduated in 2010. Uh, yeah, I'm David Buttrey. I'm a recent graduate of the program. Graduated in 2010, um, so not too long ago. Uh, so I know exactly what you're thinking right now. <laughs> and um, the class is Music Festival Production. It's going to be Tuesday from 6 to 9. Uh, Alex Grant, who's also a graduate of the program, she'll be teaching it with me. Uh, we're sort of trading off certain weeks as we have uh, out-of-town work. Um, if you have any other questions about the class, feel free to see me after forum. You, do you want to tell them about your business and what you do? Um, yeah, I'm lucky enough to work uh, with in and around music festivals for a living, um, as well as special events. Uh, we typically work sort of with sponsorship integration on site. Uh, sometimes that involves sort of projection mapping, LED programming, um, as well as freelance gigs, more on sort of traditional production approach with festivals. Um, so if you're interested with any of that, uh, feel free to see me after this. We can dis discuss either that sort of work or you know, what we'll be doing with the class. Thank you so much, Dave. Yeah. David, um, David has worked in all the major festivals at Bonnaroo, Coachella, and the rest, so if you have any questions about those, then you can talk to David. Donna Santiago, come on up, Donna. Donna teaches legal issues, and she's an artist manager. Come on up. Maybe a little. Can you reach that? There you go. Good evening. Um, I'm Donna Santiago. I'll be teaching. One of the sections of Legal Issues 1, and um, I am a entertainment attorney here in town and a partner in the uh, Hypersoul company. So we do talent management development and we have a record label. I spent my summer doing a lot of traveling, going to a lot of the festivals David was working at. Um, Telly Ride, I went to a few Canadian festivals this year, so that was really good. 
They were beautiful festivals, and um, Telluride in August is a really nice escape. So um, what else did I do this summer? We went up, spent a month in New York expanding my network of um, music supervisors, trying to become much better friends with them and um, expand our licensing um, deals that we can get done. For New Orleans-based artists, Louisiana-based artists, there's um, actually, when I left my office today, um, we found a really good one who's working on a new series that's going to be based in New Orleans and Atlanta, shot here, and they're going to load it up with all sorts of uh, South Louisiana music. So that's going to be a nice um, bump for quite a few artists. Thank you so much. Do you take interns for Hypersoul? I mean, I it... do. Um, right now, I already have three interns for this semester at our office. We max out at five. That's our capability of handing, handling interns. Um, but if you're still looking for an internship, we um, can accept two more. So. so if you want to work in management, talk to Donna. Thank you very much, Donna. And for Donna, thank you. <laughs> so, Hannah Justice teaches arts at men for us. Anna, you want to come up and talk about that class? And what else you do? Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Justice. And 10 years ago, John Snyder was teaching me in a classroom. And this is why I'm here today. <laughs> I was a trumpet performance major that was terrified to perform on stage. But now I actually do the major gifts work for our college here. So I work with the dean to raise big bucks. And right now, we're in a comprehensive campaign uh, for the university, we're trying to raise $100 million, and I'm so excited. I was doing some numbers crutching over the um, summer, and I realized I've raised almost $6 million for good the university job. in the five years that I've been here. So Way it's pretty go. good. It's pretty <laughs> good. job. <laughs> Come on, $6 million? Come on. So I um, have a master's degree in arts admin, and I actually teach the arts admin class here, which is basically the nonprofit entrepreneurial overview of the nonprofit sector and the different arts organizations that um, comprise it. There are about 7% of the workforce working in that industry. That equates to 10 million jobs. And there are about 1.7 million nonprofit organizations. So if you're not volunteering for one, I'm sure you're going to be doing business with one or maybe working with one directly. So my class talks about how we are going to you know, work with them and why they're so complicated. Um, and the class is on Tuesdays, and we're full. Really? We're full. Wow. Congratulations. So, Excellent. thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you, Anna. <laughs> wow. We have a few other adjuncts who are not here. Mark Davis teaches legal issues. He's in Shreveport. And uh, who else are we missing? Um, uh, Jude Boudreau teaches music finance, and he's otherwise occupied. But Kate Adams, our internship placement person, is here, and I'd like to get introduced to her. Please welcome Kate Adams. And Kate Duncan, come on up. Come on. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> Kate Adams is the head of English. Sorry. Kate Duncan is the head of internship and placement. So a surprise. Yes, so check kidding. it out. Um, as you know, internship coordinator, that's all I've been doing this summer, not taking vacations to the Himalayas or wherever you people were talking about. Um, <laughs> I've been here on the ground getting a lot of really, really cool internships started and a lot of venues and festivals and nonprofits are really interested specifically in our program. One thing that I'm going to stress again is in our program, they've come to us because they know that we specialize in what we're talking about tonight and throughout the classes during the weeks and the semesters because you guys are the skilled workforce that they're all looking for. So I wanted to promo some of those. Before I do that, these are all listed on our job board. You guys know about job boards from WorkNola or even Craigslist posts jobs, but Employola, which is on the career development website, actually has people that come to us that we vet and make sure are going to be good experiences for you, and that's the only thing that gets posted there. So that's like the most valid place to go. So that's, again, Employola on the career development site, and I'll talk to you in classes about how to get on there and how to register for internships and things like that. So as far as internships go, Little Gem Saloon, which I'm sure you guys have seen all over Facebook and Twitter, they are looking for an intern. Promotions and booking um, is what they're looking for. So keep an eye out for that on Employola. 
Chipatina's is finally ready to start taking on the big internship experience. So they have a really rigorous program that I worked with them to develop and it'll be a really good experience for you. Um, the Nojo New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, for you nonprofit, um, in Anna's class, I'm sure that she'll talk about that group. That is a really great arts admin group that you can do marketing and event internships with. They have an orchestral librarian internship. So all of those experiences really connect you with that New Orleans nonprofit world. Um, also, Total Riot Records contacted me, and they are looking for a promotions and booking intern, and I think you're going to hear a little bit more about that. Um, the New Orleans Musicians Assistance Foundation is a mouthful. Um, they're another nonprofit arts admin internship, and I'm sure that Ms. Justice will have some more information about their company. The last one I want to introduce is probably the most exciting one. Um, a really great project has come up from Voodoo and Rehaj. They are looking for some intern teams, and I'm not going to spoil it because Sig is here to, to introduce that. And um, listen up, guys, because this is one of the coolest internships that, that I've come across. So take a listen. Introduce Sig. Sig is some VP of Marketing for Rehaj. Thank you very much. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Guess we'll have lunch soon. <laughs> we keep on going back and forth on email about having lunch together. and. Here we are. Uh, hi, I'm Sig. Yes, my nails are painted. My daughters did it, and Kate dared me to show up with my nails still painted. So <laughs> let's just get that out of the way so it doesn't distract anybody. They're very attractive. It's, it's if you want your nails done, their business is called uh, Pamper Like a Poodle. So uh, <laughs> there you go. So uh, again, my name is Sig. I'm from Ray Hodge Entertainment and the Voodoo Experience. This year is our 15th year. And John and I have been talking about the idea of doing uh, something a little bit deeper than the normal internship. And the timing was really perfect for doing this. Um, what we want to do is something that really gives people hands-on experience in working with a music festival and lets you kind of uh, be part of it on a whole new level and also take away some uh, real tangible experience beyond just uh, running around and hanging up signs or doing street team. If you want to do that, we'd love to have you to do that too. But there are things that we can um, do besides, I don't have a pickle, but uh, can we uh, flip? Thanks. So that's obviously the Voodoo lineup um, with a lot more bands below it. But um, we have five stages and it goes everywhere from Pearl Jam to Bass Nectar to uh, the Revivalists who uh, came out of this program. Um, as far as uh, what we have done in the past, and I will say this, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this with this program is we've had numerous interns over the course of the years that have come out of this program, and they have all been outstanding. The talent that comes out of here on every level has been amazing, and I, looking around and hearing what you guys, how you interact with everybody, I know that that, that will continue. A matter of fact, Alex Grant, who's one of the teachers, professors here, she came out of the program. A uh, lot of people over the years, and it's been very impressive. So the idea is, how do we take this to a new level? We've gotten rid of our volunteer program. We no longer are giving people a t-shirt to show up and ditch us and not work because they don't want to be there. And true story, I'm standing in front of the main stage one year, and I'm watching a bunch of people in front of me looking at their backs, and it says volunteer on their back as they're drinking beers and watching, watching bands. Uh, we want people to enjoy the experience, but what we really want is people who are motivated to be part of a program, who have career aspirations, who are really excited about marketing, about partnership, about artist relations, about uh, design, whatever your uh, you know, interest is in, we want to capture that interest and get the most out of you and not have it be about getting a free t-shirt and uh, catching your favorite band, and that's the whole thing. Some of the other things, just to keep in mind, uh, enthusiasm and uh, originality. Of, uh, the idea that if you have original thought, part of this program isn't, again, me just telling you what to do, but because of what your program is and what you guys have to offer, if you have something you want to bring to the table, something especially for this program where we'll be working with mainly artist relations and marketing, if there's something that you want to bring to the table, we want to, we want to hear that from you. So this isn't just a one-way street where we're telling you, hey, go do this and don't say anything back. That's not what we're interested in. As far as, um, next slide, please. 
Uh, skills that we are requesting of you is A, as John so eloquently put it to me, show up. Can you show up? That's number one. A lot of people can't show up uh, and they don't understand responsibility. If you can't do it, that's fine. Then we just don't need you to be part of the program though. If you have the ability to show up, be timely, be professional, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for people who have phone skills. If you don't have them, but this still is something that you want or you're interested in, and I'll explain this to you in a second, we'll help you with that. But we need to know that you can take a phone call and you can talk to somebody who is a working, breathing music industry person, whether they're coming from a brand side, whether they're coming from a media partner side, whether they're coming from an agent side, a PR agent, one of those many different entities that hopefully you'll be working with through working with us. And of course, Excel and other office programs, and I have a feeling everybody in this room is probably fairly comfortable with social media, as half of you are pissed that you can't tweet, tweet right now from uh, inside this room. Um, next, uh, next one, please. Uh, as far as responsibilities, here's, here's what we're talking about doing. My, what I do for, for Voodoo is marketing and partnerships. And so I'm working with both everyone from Fuse TV to Rolling Stone Magazine to uh, other online entities uh, to also our partners who are like Toyota and Red Bull and brands. Our artist relations team is working with obviously bands, management, and what we're trying to do and what we want you guys to do is take the communication between our offices and their offices to another level. We want to make it so that you know, it's really easy for bands to say, hey, cool, we got this gig, we're playing Voodoo, take the check, get out of here. We want them to be as engaged in Voodoo as we are engaged in them playing Voodoo because that's gonna help both of us. So what we're looking for the teams to do is we're looking for people to take over, to a certain degree, the PR of Voodoo, specifically with bands. So we're looking for people to create relationships with band PR, with their fan club people, with the people that manage their social media, which is not under one roof. It's, they're all over the country working different, in, in different offices. And we want to start an engagement between us and them where we're telling them about things that are going on with Voodoo, but at the same time we're letting them know, again, it's two ways. If they've got something going on, if their band is gonna be on Jimmy Kimmel, let us know, we'll post it on social media and we'll help amplify their message, hopefully in return, they'll help amplify our messages that are important to us, and they'll take a little bit more interest in it. Now, where this carries over is as you work those relationships throughout the, uh, the couple of months leading up to Voodoo, when we get to Voodoo Weekend, your team will have a stage on a particular day, and those bands that you've been working with that are on that schedule, you'll be working with that day. And that's where we'll kind of fall into a little bit more of the artist relations side, and Ashley Sampson, who runs that, and some of you may have been in the festival class last year when she came in and spoke, but she'll work with you. And there's things that we need from the artists during the day, during the show, that helps our social media and our engagement with our audience. Things like the set list, or maybe a great perspective of the band from backstage, photos, or uh, something that is, you know, some type of memorabilia from them that would look great on social media. So the whole experience goes from really next week when we announce the day-to-day -day lineup to the festival weekend. And then if we could switch one more time. At the end of this whole thing, we'll just get to the second to last bottom line. You will have to prepare a final presentation as part of the internship. And of course, all this we can go through in further detail. And I don't, am I supposed to take questions, not take questions? No, I'd like to ask a question. How Please many, ask a question. How many hours of commitment do you think this would entail? Well, I know that for uh, it's 120 hours for a full internship. Uh, we're looking at, we would like to, I know that everyone has their own schedules. You guys are busy. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, what, what you're facing, it's day one right now. I'm sure it's going to be uh, overwhelming from this point forward. Uh, we'll work with each person to figure out what kind of hours we're talking about. But it's a combination of hours in our office. We do want you to come to a production meeting. We want you to see what a production meeting is like. We do want you to come to a city park site visit so you can see what that's like when production is starting to happen. We want you to be uh, on email, interacting with the different PR people, social media, fan club, all the different people we're asking you to interact with. And then of course there's things that we might ask you to do 
uh, where through the relationship that we'll build together, I will send you an email and ask you to do something uh, which could be as simple as posting a comment on a story about your band or a general story on Voodoo that we saw popped up on the internet. So we're probably talking, uh, you know, you know, somewhere between five and ten hours a week. Um, again, I think we can work through this together and be somewhat flexible and figure out what that perfect time is. But I, uh, as it get closer to the festival, it's as we get time. closer to the festival, will become very hectic. That last week, especially uh, Voodoo, so you know, is November first, second, and third. So Halloween is Thursday night, and then Voodoo is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And when we get to that point, things will become very hectic. And during the weekend, you'll be on site all day. Now, of course, this does mean you get a ticket to Voodoo. Um, and the way that we have discussed setting it up is hopefully teams will work two days and have one day off to do whatever you really want to do while you're there. So um, the commitment will become the first week that we start this because of what we're doing next week with announcing the day-by-day -day lineup will require some time, quite a bit of time, hopefully. Um, and then uh, it'll be ongoing, and then that last week will be very busy in the course of the weekend itself. So to sign up, they just come see you after forum, or what? I think they're seeing Kate. If they're seeing the two of us, to sign up, you need to send me an email. Kate Duncan at loino.edu. Resume, write example. I'll show you how to do it when you come see us after. So that's K with a K, not K-A-Y. <laughs> okay, go on. All done? right, well, thank you very much. Well, thanks a lot. Appreciate big, it. Big help to you. So uh, another opportunity, I'm going to introduce uh, Natalie and Jason. Y'all come up and let's talk about your opportunity here. <laughs> Natalie graduated from the program a few years ago. Great, Singer's we got to follow about. Voodoo Fest. Um, <laughs> yeah, you got to have to do that. Uh, my name is Jason Carrioris. This is Natalie Mae Palms. Uh, we're here to talk about a local label that we work with and perform with called Toller Raya Records. And we're looking for a few uh, lovely people like yourselves to help us um, with the booking promoting aspect and a lot of things that in the label uh, and a lot of shows, we um, things with internet and web design, keeping up with the web pages, social media. Um, you get to learn about the inner workings of booking shows with a lot of uh, clubs around the city. Um, as a collective, we've done shows with big clubs like One Eye Jacks, House of Blues, Tipitinas, um, Natalie, we've done Jazz Fest and Voodoo Fest. Um, also, we do a lot of festivals in the Gulf region and the local area. Um, so we're gonna need help with that, and um, a lot of our artists include uh, Natalie Mae Palms over here, uh, Strange Rue, which is a band that I write and perform with, uh, White Collar Crimes, um, the Dapper Dandies, and a few others. And uh, so we have rock and roll, we have folk, we have uh, a little dubstep, we have hip hop, so all sorts of different types of music. Um, and uh, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, sorry. Um, here we are. But no, we've done a lot of stuff too in the city. Like we had uh, for the last two years now at uh, Blue Nile on Frenchman Street, we did a monthly showcase, which a couple of the guys in here have been part of. I see a couple of members from the Coyotes and also Christian of My Father's Rifle, who are two great bands in the city. Um, and the point of that was to um, promote local original music on Frenchman Street, which is a really important thing for us because a lot of the music in the city is a lot of cover acts and people that have been here for a long time. And we feel um, a lot of the original bands don't get, you know, it's a lot harder to get your foot in the door. So we try to do our best to really focus on original music here in New Orleans. So I'm going to let Natalie talk about herself. Speaking of original music. What's that? Speaking of original music. Uh, yeah, I'm a 2009 alumni wow. of this program. I had my first songwriting class with John Rankin. Contemporary Ensemble with Hinderly, and had the great pleasure of working for Jim Gabor. Um, so my band is Natalie May and her Unturned Tricks. Um, we've been around for about four or five years, cut our first record here. Well, my first record, last record, was nominated for an Offbeat. Um, so I'm looking for one to two people. Our internship program, uh, you can either work for just me or you can also work for the label. Um, Kind of what I need is someone just to help with the day-to-day -day things that I don't have the time or the energy to do by myself. <laughs> so uh, we have cards available. You can also get in touch with Kate Duncan. All of our information's on Employola. Um, we'd like to start setting up some interviews to meet all you guys within the next few weeks. So please get in touch with us, with your resume, anything, all your past experience, what you're interested in. 
Um, if you're interested in getting to know the local music scene here in the city, this would be a great opportunity for you. And that's about it. Thank you so much, Natalie. So they'll be here if you want to talk to them. So uh, Ethan, where's Ethan? Ethan, did you want to say anything about Google? Where's Ethan? Do you want to say anything? Um, OK, we're going to save that for another day. Ethan's working for Google. He's going to save that for another day. I want to introduce the EU directors, uh, a couple of them anyway. Uh, Austin, you want to come down? Austin is uh, managing Vital Sounds. And um, so they'll tell you about what they do. And if you want to join one of these student companies, you'll have access to do that. These people make money, by the way. Right, Austin? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, please. How's it going, y'all? My name's Austin Rapbaum, and I'm the president of Vital Sounds Recording. So basically, I don't know if you guys have all seen the facilities um, as far as new students go, but we have a couple studios here on campus, and Vital Sounds is an independent company that operates within that. Uh, we currently have five engineers, and I'm looking for a few people who want to possibly apprentice and maybe another engineer or two. So if you have any interest in working in a studio, um, Feel free to talk to me. You can email me at austinrapbaum at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on down there, guys. Davis? Davis, you want to come down? Where's Davis? There's Davis. Davis runs Ziggy Vision. Hi, my name's Davis. I run Iggy Vision, which is the video production company. Every time you see a camera, it's probably us. Um, we always need people. We need camera operators, editors, directors, um, audio people. If you, um, if you have any interest in doing that or if you know a little bit about that, we usually have our meetings at 3.30 on Fridays. I think we're going to keep that as kind of an, the easiest time. We meet in the fourth floor lounge up at the um, music building. It's like if you come off the elevators, it's to the left and like way back kind of by the studios. Um, if you're interested, you can email us at iggyvision at gmail or just come by the meetings. We have shoots all the time. We do all the stuff in Roussel, like at the operas, and then we do other things like make music videos. So if you have any interest in joining, just let us know. Thanks. Thank you so much, Davis. <laughs> Steven. Where's Steven? Thanks, David. Come on down, Steven. Y'all heard from Steven already, but here's Steven again. It's a long walk, huh? What's up, guys? Steve again. Uh, I'm the president of NOLA Sound, which is a, uh, we're a live sound company. We work both on campus and in the professional live sound world here in New Orleans. We've done some smaller festivals. We've had stages at Voodoo Fest before. We did Community Records Block Party last year. We're working on French Quarter Fest this year. But uh, we do a lot of really cool stuff, and uh, it's a lot of fun. You get paid for the work you do with us which is nice. Uh, some really good experience that comes with the job. A lot of the people that have worked for us have gone on to make careers in live sound uh, all over the place. You know, so the experience will carry with you for a long time. And you don't need to know anything about live sound at all to start with us. Uh, and you know, it's just a really fun thing to do. We all have a really good time. It's a rewarding job. Uh, if anyone's interested, uh, you can either uh, come to our informational meeting on Wednesday at 1.30. Uh, me and the rest of the board members will be there to answer any questions, talk about training times, and uh, get you guys set up. Also, I'll be lurking in the back after forum if you want to come talk to me. And we'll, our, uh, technolo our technology guy will be up front so you can ask him any questions about training or anything, really. But uh, just come talk to us. We'll get you set up. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> So just a, um, one word about, uh, admit, uh, about attendance. You're going to be given these little dongles that will read your attendance when you come and go. So please bring those when you come to class. And, um, and you got to check in and check out. One other thing, I would like to produce a talent show this year, this semester. Um, I'm working with Kimberly on that. So if anybody is interested in that, you know, let me know and I'll plug you into it. So I want you to have a great year. Please let us know if we can do anything to help you. We wish you all the best, and please, good luck. We'll see you next time.